Okay, in this video, I'd like to look at the derivative rules for a to the x and for the log base a of x. And I'd like to go through a short proof of why they work. We're going to use some previous results and some previous techniques that we've covered. Uh, there's a number of ways to go through uh, the proof or go through this uh, justification. I'm going to use, at least for the derivative of a to the x, I'm going to use logarithmic differentiation. Okay, so that means we, t we use properties of logarithms before taking the derivative. All right, so let's start with the equation y equals a to the x. And we're looking for dy dx, which will be the derivative of a to the x. So logarithmic differentiation, we start off with taking the log of both sides. I'm going to use the natural log. So you could use any log you want, but I'm going to use the natural log. So the natural log of y equals the natural log of a to the x. And property of logarithms allows us to bring this x out front as a constant multiple. So we have the natural log of y equals x times the natural log of a. Now we can go ahead and take the derivative of both sides of the equation. Okay, so we'll take the derivative of the left and we will take the derivative of the right, both with respect to x. So we'll have the derivative with respect to x of ln of y equals the derivative with respect to x of x times ln of a. Okay, now, using implicit differentiation on the left-hand side, the derivative of the natural log of y is 1 over y times the derivative of y, which is dy over dx. And on the right-hand side, the derivative of x times ln of a, well, that's just like saying the derivative of 2x is 2, this is x times a constant. The constant is ln of a. So the derivative of x times ln of a will be simply ln of a. Okay, now we can multiply both sides of the equation by y. We want to isolate dy dx. So we'll have dy over dx is equal to y times the natural log of a and this is y, so we could put this in for the y here. y is a to the x. So we have dy over dx is equal to a to the x times the natural log of a. And that is the derivative formula we were trying to show, which we just did. Okay, so now, uh, the derivative of the log base a of x is, uh, we're not going to need logarithmic differentiation here. Uh, we could start off by using the change of base formula. Okay, so this is a question mark. Let's say we don't, we haven't shown this yet, but the derivative of the log base a of x is the same as the derivative of According to the change of base formula, we could write the log base a of x as the natural log of x divided by the natural log of a. Or we could write this, if you want, derivative of 1 over the natural log of a times the natural log of x. We're taking the derivative with respect to x. So 1 over ln of a is a constant. So that 1 over ln of a could come out front. So that is equal to 1 over the natural log of a times the derivative of the natural log of x. And we've already shown that the derivative of ln of x is 1 over x. So this is equal to 1 over ln of a times 1 over ln of x. And we could combine these two 
fractions we can multiply and oh sorry not one over ln of x what, what are we doing one over x the derivative of ln of x is one over x so when we multiply these two fractions we get one over ln of a times x and again that is the derivative formula we were looking to show okay